Hello my friends and welcome to the next episode of our Inter Milan career mode and today it's the 31st of December the last day of the year so I hope you all enjoy your day with your family or your friends however you however you do it and of course have a nice party and yes today we are starting with a very important game at home against second place Juventus Turin. I brought in Lajic for Perisic and that's it. I'm playing with my first team squad. Michael one. The pass. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. It took us just three minutes to score the first goal. What is up with the defense of Juventus? Oh my god. That was so easy. One pass. What a mistake from their defender. Oh my god. So easy, so unbelievably easy, Berardi, three minutes into the game and we already scored the goal. Mid the carry to Joffrey, Adam Leitch, back to Joffrey, back to Adam Leitch, the shot it's almost into the goal. One, the pass for Berardi, will he score his second goal? No he isn't. Okay, I take it, I don't know why the defender just decided. To score an own goal because there's so many ways to defend that ball and that's definitely not one of this uh, one of them just why would you do that I take it to be honest we just had two good attacks but we scored both Berardi back to Stefan the pass come on Lajic Lajic get a one through Gani Lajic wait I'm sorry, it's 3-0. Juventus didn't even have one good attack. They are playing so unbelievable bad. It's so easy to score goals against them. I don't know <laughs> what I what I'm supposed to say about that uh, about that because we are winning 3-0 against Juventus. Second place Juventus. Juventus got a corner and Hernanes is in for Marquisio, Handanovic. Easy catch. Um, okay, Handanovic, that's maybe a little bit too quick, I would say. Adam Lajic, Medel, uh, bad pass, but we still have a chance to cross it in. For Stefan Operadi, almost got there, could have scored the fourth goal easily. Uh, that was really close, Adam Lajic with a cross, good one as well, another chance, Buffon, but that was... To be honest, a very easy save. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy Guarin. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot believe the scenes. The scenes, man. The shot, I don't think it actually would have gone in. Oh, Buffon. Oi, oi, oi. To be honest, nah, it would have gone in. To be honest, they played all right in the second half. They definitely played much better than in the first half. But now it's 4-0. Oh. I have I've expected a very good game, a close game, maybe even the first defeat. And now we're winning 4-0. And that really easily. They it's I don't know what to say about this. Juventus really disappointed me in this game. Sturaro, Sturaro still going, with a cross, for Icardi, almost the fifth goal. Icardi again, Icardi, oh, so freaking bad. We're winning every header, we're winning, we can get through their defense so easily. I think they're just playing with three in, be, uh, in behind as well, with Rugani, Caceres and Kelini, but... It's embarrassing. This is just the perfect word. The performance of Juventus in this game was just embarrassing. 4-0 win. Roma won as well. So it's just a 5 point gap. And we have our first training of the episode. I will keep training Aquilanti. Let's see if the results. Aquilanti can improve some stats. Very nice results. Now an away game against Palermo, who drew against Roma. 
and one against Bologna, so they are in some good form. And it's just 20 or 30 seconds into the game and Gonzalez already is injured. Rovic goes after 6 minutes, we are always going very early goals, I like that a lot. Murillo got the yellow card, that's it for the first half. Just like 30 minutes to go, Icardi is in for Perisic, Light for Berardi. Come on, don't concede. Just a few seconds, Montoya, yellow card and we are winning 1-0, another important win. Again, just an early goal and that's it. Roma won as well, so it's 5 points. And the next training, I will st um, still keep doing these players. And Icardi improves his dribbling and is now an 80 overall. Actually, is quite close to going up as well. And maybe, if Montoya gets a really good result, he can go up in the next training. Away game against Bologna. And they lost against Juventus. So they are in some bad form. I know Taida, Vanyama. Okay, they got in Vanyama. Uh, Milo gets a yellow card and Santon is hurt. And they score a goal. Mbaye. And we are playing with our second choice squad, of course. Just a few days after the game. The last game. Oh my god, it seems like we are losing. Vidic in for Santon, what the hell. Vidic for Icardi, Laic. Can we... Uh, no, we can't. We are losing... The first time in this season. Don't know why we're losing against Bologna, but it's a loss. Ah, so it took us 10 games to lose the first game. Now it's just two points. Because Roma is just winning all the games as well. Ten, uh, two points to Roma. And let's see. Oh, the next game is against Roma. Ah, yeah, and he's injured for seven weeks, so around two months. With a broken ankle. He, he got a broken ankle and still played for like 30-40 minutes. Okay, why not? We started the episode with a game at home against second place Juventus. And now we are playing a home game against second place Roma. And if we lose this game, Roma would be first place and we will drop down to second. So we really don't want to lose this game. This is our starting 11. Not the best pass against Costas Manola, but he is just too quick and... That's not the penalty? You sure, Wef? Are you really sure that this is not the penalty? I need to see that again. Costas Manolas. With a slight tackle. Ah, uh, it's... Oh, yeah, oh. He just got the ball. But really just got the ball. Close, very close. Almost a penalty after just six minutes into the game. Come on, win the header. Ah, but okay, we got the ball with Joffrey. Stefan, nice touch, very good touch. Stefan Rovetic, oh, it's got blocked. First good chance, 20 minutes into the game. We still got the corner though, with Perisic. Good one, good one. Ah, too easy for Chesney. Gorin, Stefan. Stefan, the counter-attack after corner. Stefan. Ashley Cole is just too old, he's not quick anymore. Stefan, get it to Perisic. No, it's not Perisic. I think it was Kondogbia. Ah, uh, if Kondogbia just would be a quick, a little bit quicker, then I think that would have been a goal. We still got the ball. Guarin, long shot. It got deflected. Another save from Chesney. Rovitic, cross. Good one. Header. Ah, uh, Chesney again. Berardi. Oh, nice pass for Ivan Perisic. Short post. It got. Blocked again. You see, we have so many good chances. We are playing very good again. But we are not scoring it. Medel now. Blocked. Medel with a header. Ah. But as Rome doesn't know what to do. Definitely. They, are, they have no idea. They just can't hope right now that they don't concede another cross. Chesney is there again. Don't let Checo head the ball. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. If you have so many chances, it's just the same in real life. If you have so many freaking chances and not scoring them, then you definitely are going to concede with the first chance of your opponent. First good chance from Ars Roma. Jacob with the header, too easy. And now it's a goal. 
Oh, fuck. No, it's De Rossi, not even Jaco. It is Daniel De Rossi, the old legend. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Very good first touch. Thank God Ashley Cole missed that chance. Oh, my God. I don't think Antanovic would have gotten to that, that, that ball. Stefan for Ivan. Yes, Ivan, please get to that ball. Ivan, Ivan blocked again. Manolas. He is definitely the best defender for Roma in this game. Yeah. Oh my god, they have too much space and that's the second goal. Oh my goodness. We played so well. And... Oh no, what the hell. That's just such bad defending. Oh. Totti, Totti and De Rossi. I need to change something. Kovacic is off for Icardi. Uh, but they all, uh, I don't know. And Sturaro is on for Kondogbia. And now my last substitution. Perisic off for Leic. I hope he can be the wonder sub again. 15 minutes to go. Leic, come on. Nice pass, Berardi. You need to score it, Berardi. You need to score it. Yes. He scored it. Come on, 15 minutes. Take the ball. Light straight away. The first time he touched the ball and he got an assist. Could he be the wonders up again? So much space for Berardi. And thank God he scores that. Come on, 15 minutes. We can still get a tour. No, no, ref. Thank God. I thought he would give a penalty for that. But we lost the ball straight away. Please be offside. Please be offside. No, he isn't offside. Oh, Javinho, the forehead scores the third goal. What the hell was that? I hope that he would be offside. Nice goal. And now I think it's all over. Javinho again. Too quick. Nice touch. And... Wow. Wow. <sighs> We won 5-0 at home against Juventus. The hype was real and now we lost 4-1 at home against Roma. Bo oh, wow. 5-1. They scored 3 goals in the last few minutes. Wow, thank you. Who was that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Who is number 14? Is this Murillo? I think it's Murillo. I don't know, but I think it's Murillo. Yes, it is. No, it's Montoya. Montoya, really? Look at this. First of all, of course. No, I'm retarded. Oh, I'm retarded as well. 5-1 loss. The worst game we ever had with Inter Milan. Inter Milan. And we played so well in the first half. We could have scored three, four goals in the first half. In the second half, especially in the last five minutes, they just destroyed us. Wow, 5 1 loss. Look at the statistics. We had 10 shots on target, scored one, and they had five shots and scored all of them. That's the difference. Monthly scouting report. Let's see Antonio Aquilante. Uh, maybe we need to stop training him because I need to release him. Moleo, I don't know. They all have such a bad overall. I need to release him. Uh, so Capani is right now the best one. But maybe from Greece we finally get a good one. Yes, Polo Pietris. Actually it sounds quite Italian as well. So, the first good one from Squeeze, and now another training. So now the question of course is, who should we train now? I think I'm going to train Leitch in, um, let's see, in dribbling. And, and Berardi in uh, passing. So let's see the results we will get. 
hopefully some good one. Yeah, Icardi improved some stats. Montoya improved some stats. Dallas as well. Montoya just gone up to an 80 overall, improved some mental stats. I think Kondogbia has gone up by himself as well. I think we trained him to a 79, but he now gone up to an 80. I don't know. I, there's one thing I really hate. In all the FIFAs, you had a sign, a green sign, which said, or a red sign, of course, he do, uh, downgraded or he upgraded, or yeah, he has gone up or down in his overall. But that's not there anymore, and I don't know why, because that was a really good thing. But okay, I think he gone up by himself to an 80. And I think Guarin, yeah, he definitely gone up by himself to an 81. And Perdic has gone up to an 82. And Melo is going down. Actually, he is playing very good. 8 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 7.2 average rating. That's really good. But he is 32 years old and he is going down, especially in his physical stats. Minus 4 strength and stamina. That's not good. The last game today is an away game against Turina, Icardi and Laicha in for Kovetic and Perisic. But now a good chance maybe Icardi, what the hell are you doing Icardi? Uh, what the hell? He was not able to just take the ball with him. He ran away from the ball. Laic, come on make one. Yes, Icardi for Laic. Please. Please Adam Laic, please score that. Yes! Oh, oh. Yes, we scored it. The first good chance, but we finally scored a goal. Icardi, nice pass, nice assist, and Light with two new guys. Nice goal from Light. No chance for their goalkeeper. And we are up. We are winning a game. Oh my god. 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 That defending is so bad and Handanovic. Oh, oh my <laughs> It hurts my whole body to see that. Beradi Beradi Okay, okay. Okay I take it what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? It seems like it's Icardi's goal, but that's definitely not Icardi's goal. What the hell? I think that's Glick and their goalkeeper. Yes, it's definitely Glick. I... Oh... <laughs> I, I don't know what to say anymore. I take it. I take it. Thanks, Gleek. Thanks, the goalkeeper. Light. Good pass for Freddy Guarin, who has the strength. And again, we are so lucky. But we scored, and that's the important thing. I don't really care right now how we are scoring. If it's a very stupid on goal, or if it's quite lucky. But here he has the strength to get to the ball and then it was quite lucky, yes, but we scored it and that's the important thing. Pass to Berardi, 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 4-1. Yeah. That feels very good after that loss against Roma. That feels so good. Last counter chance of this game, Berardi. Berardi will pass it to Icardi and we are winning 5-1. Yeah, we lost 5-1 against Roma, now we're winning 5-1 against Torino. So in the end we equalized it. Of course the Roma game was definitely more important than this game. But at least we got back the goal difference. So yeah, at least something. And that's it for the game. Training. Let's see if we can get some good results. Tell me if you want me to change something in the training. Berardi improves his vision in short pass, Montoya in interception and stand tackle and Telles his interceptions as well. Monthly scouting update from Italy. Let's see if he found something good. He is 17 years old, has a good potential but he's 17. But I will try it. Christian Yosa. And ooh, ooh, hoo, hoo, okay. 
just 5 foot 4, but he seems to be amazing. Mario Lazari. I think I'm going to start training this guy from now on. And mm, yeah, I think I will take Mirko Gagli. Gagliardini as well. <laughs> and you can see I stopped training Icardi and Montoya and will start training Lazari, who already is a 60 over wall. That's, that's really good. And some good results. Dallas can improve his standing tackle again. Oh my god, guys. Roma actually just drew the game. It's very close now, but we are again first place. We have 28 points, Roma 27, Juventus 25. And that's it for the episode, guys. Roma actually drew again and Juventus won. So if we actually lose the next game, we all have 28 points. But if we win it, we again have 3 points more than Juventus and Roma. So there is again a 3 point gap. I hope you really enjoyed the episode. What the hell? We we started so well with a 5-0 win, a 4-0 win, and then another win, and then we lost 5-1 as well. At least a nice win in the end. In the next episode, I will play the last game in November. Maybe, ah, I think I will actually simulate this game, then play, of course, the game against Neapel. And will play the game against Lazio and one of these games as well. So I will definitely uh, play three games. Neapel, Lazio and Udinese or Genoa. And then I will simulate against uh, Frosinone Calcio. I don't know this club to be honest. And the other game. And then it's the end of December. It's the end of year as well. And we are on the transfer window. So I can already start again. Tell me if you want to, uh, me to make some substitution, uh, substitutions, <laughs> some transfers. Tell me. And guys, I changed the kit numbers. You can see number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, medallion number 6, 7, 8, he's number 9 and 10, 11. And then large number 17, 19 and yeah, I'm just going through that. So you can see right now the kit numbers. Again, if you want me to change something, give a specific player a specific kit number. Tell me. But that's it for the episode and yeah i hope you enjoyed it have a nice last day of 2015 and i hope i will see you on the next episode again bye guys